Welcome again to another React Uploadly tutorial. As always, my name is Yoav, and this time I'd like to show you how you can easily set upload params dynamically in your code. If you don't know what I'm talking about and what is Uploadly I speak of, well, you're possibly in the wrong place. However, if you are interested in file uploading in React, I do suggest you first check out the first couple of tutorials I made just for that. Okay, let's get into some code. Assuming you're familiar with React Uploading and you know how it works, at least on a basic level, I'll show you how you can dynamically set params that accompany your uploads. Well, before we saw some of the upload params you can set explicitly from the uploading component, JSX, or the upload button, for example, this time we'll do it using implicit code. After our initial setup, we add a custom button. And just a quick reminder, you can only call the available uploady hooks from within the uploady component render tree. Okay, the hook we'll take a look at today is the use request preset hook. This allows you to set the options for the upload at runtime as you'll see now. I'll create a param that my server may be interested in called batch size and set it to the number of items being uploaded. Notice that I allowed grouping in the explicit options so request may contain more than one file at a time. The default is one request, one file. Next, we can check the existing options. In this case, the default upload method is post. We can set another param to put when this is the case. In other cases, we'll just use the verb that was chosen. Now, when we select our files for upload, we can see the request contains three files and that the batch size is correctly also set to three. The override method param is set to put as expected. We can see that our dummy server also received these values over the wire just as we intended. Finally, finally as may sometimes be the case, we can calculate our dynamic params asynchronously. We can return promise or use async await before we hand uploady our new params. In case the uploady or upload button components already set one of these params, the value will be overridden by the implicit ones. Other params with different names will not be affected. As always, I hope you find this useful. I'll keep covering more advanced topics in future videos. Feel free to leave a comment asking for a specific topic or use case, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, go code!